ओम ज्ञानतिमीरांदनाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील येना तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर इन दिस सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्रॉम द लेवेंथ एंड द ट्वेल्थ वर्सेस ऑफ द टेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ द फर्स्ट कैंट ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम these two verses are given together in the shrimad bhagavatam therefore we are uh, discussing this together satsangan mukta dussango hatum not sahate budha kirtyamanam yasho yasya sakrid akarnya rochanam tasmin nyasta dhiya parthah saheran viraham katham दर्शन स्पर्श संलाप शयनासन भोजन द मीनिंग ऑफ दीज टू वर्सेस इज गिवन टुगेदर द इंटेलिजेंट हु हैव अंडरस्टूड द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इन एसोसिएशन विथ प्योर डिवोटीज एंड हैव बिकम फ्रीड फ्रॉम बैड मेटीरियलिस्टिक एसोसिएशन कैन नेवर अवॉइड हियरिंग द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड इवन दो दे हैव हर्ड देम ओनली वंस how then could the pandavas tolerate his separation for they had been intimately associated with this person seeing him face to face touching him conversing with him sleeping sitting and dining with him so this verse further explains the feeling of separation especially the pandavas felt when krishna left hasinapura and returned to dwarka the pandavas were very 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 intimately associated with krishna so the general principle is first explained and then the specific uh, uh, feeling of the pandavas uh, is explained because they were intimately connected with krishna so shrila prabhupada explains this point how uh somebody is um attached to krishna then uh what is the position of such a person the living beings constitutional position is one of serving a superior this is the purport shri prabhupada is writing the living beings constitutional position is one of serving a superior he is obliged to serve by the by force the dictates of illusory energy in different phases of sense gratification what is our life in this world it is one of sense gratification we are always seeking satisfaction of our senses now in doing so we are forced by the illusory energy to serve maya we are forced by maya to serve maya that we don't realize that we don't understand again we don't understand again because of the influence of illusion only uh, so therefore the statement by prabhupad in the beginning of the purport is that it is our constitutional position the way we are made we have to serve a superior we cannot be master we are always servant nobody likes to hear this nobody wants to be a servant everyone wants to be master but our position is we are servant and if we don't agree to render service we are forced 
to render service by the illusory energy. But the, uh, the real fact of the matter is that the conditioned soul, the ordinary living beings in this world are never tired in serving their senses because they are running after sense enjoyment. They are chasing the sense enjoyment more and more and more and more and more and more. And therefore, they don't seem to become tired of uh, serving the senses. Even if somebody may feel tired serving their own senses, the illusory energy perpetually forces him to do so without being satisfied. Now, these are some of the very important truths that Prabhupada is revealing in this purport. Please uh, hear very attentively and think about this. Contemplate on this. Uh, that uh, the Maya's force is so powerful that there is no respite for us. We have to keep on serving our senses with the false hope that this particular act of serving the senses will satisfy me. But the reality is I never get satisfied. On the other hand, uh, my, the senses demand more and more and more and more. And foolishly, a person may go on trying and trying and trying to satisfy the senses. It never happens. Now, as a result of this attempt at satisfying the senses, the conditioned soul becomes entangled. You understand what is entanglement? Material bondage. We are bound up, completely bound up through the uh, stringent laws of karma and there is no hope of release from such bondage generally. Now the only way such an entangled soul can get release from this entanglement or bondage is by association with pure devotees only way what happens when somebody is in the association of pure devotees uh, as it said here, said here satsangan muttadussango satsangan by association with pure devotees one is gradually promoted to transcendental consciousness spiritual consciousness, Krishna consciousness. Thus, when a person comes to the spiritual consciousness, then such a person can understand that his eternal position is to render service to Krishna and not render service to the perverted senses. These senses of ours are actually not our real senses. Our real senses are within. These senses are a covering for the real senses, the spiritual senses. So these material senses which are covering our spiritual senses, they demand satisfaction and foolishly we go on trying to satisfy. But we don't realize except when we come in touch with pure devotees and our transcendental consciousness is um, is awakened and then we are able to understand I am simply serving lust, anger, greed, enviousness, huh? all these uh, uh, material desires, I am simply serving them. Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Mada, Matsarya, we are simply servant of all these different uh, uh, perverted uh, uh, desires, simply serving them. Uh, so, Prabhupada explains further, material society, friendship and love are all different phases of lust. This karma, lust, is the greatest enemy of the soul, 
of every conditioned soul the greatest enemy is lust kama vidhi enam iha vairinam in the bhagavad gita third chapter it is described by krishna it is the greatest enemy of all of us who are in this material world is lust and uh, it is further explained home country family society wealth all are causes of bondage in the material world and the concomitant factors of such bondage is the threefold miseries of life tapatraya hmm? uh, three kinds of miseries miseries due to our own body and mind miseries due to other living beings and miseries due to forces of nature we have to keep on suffering different miseries at different times due to the bondage now if somebody associate with pure devotees and hears krishna katha submissively then the attachment for material enjoyment becomes slackened that which is a a burning desire in the heart that burning desire begins to get extinguished when you associate with pure devotees and hear krishna katha from them then gradually the attraction for hearing more and more about krishna that increases it increases and becomes prominent now as the attraction for krishna increases uh, one keeps on making progress more and more in krishna consciousness and the attraction keeps on increasing more and more and more and more and more now it is said here that the supreme personality of god and lord hari is so transcendently attractive that even those who are self satisfied by self realization even those who are liberated completely from all material bondage they also become devotees of lord hari this is the power of attraction supreme lord hari is attract tip to everyone including liberated souls and those who are self satisfied due to self realization everyone is um, attracted to krishna that is the power of krishna's attraction so uh, under these circumstances we can easily understand the pandavas were constant companions of krishna how they would have felt when krishna left asinapura and went to dwaraka so we can't uh, imagine uh, the kind of feeling of separation felt by the pandavas especially when krishna left for dwaraka but prabhupar concludes by telling that uh, because of continuous personal contact the pandavas were feeling uh, intense separation when krishna left we can't imagine how much separation they would have felt now the nature of uh, the attachment for krishna which the pure devotees have is described as uh, so very attractive krishna is so very attractive for the pure devotees that simply the remembrance of krishna's name form or qualities or pastimes or paraphernalia simply remembering that makes the devotee completely forget about all other material forms material names material qualities material activities everything material completely is forgotten by the devotee so mukta dussanga a pure devotee is always free from the contaminating association of the material world even though the devotee may be in the material world. Uh, so Uh, it is always possible by developing that attraction for krishna and 
awakening that intimate attachment that simply remembering krishna is enough to uh, again experience that same feeling especially in the ab- physical absence of krishna this is very important i'll stop here thank you very much hari krishna only the devotees can play the part of the lord's relatives and the lord is always absolute he is not particularly partial to his relatives and he is uh, neglectful about other people indifferent to other people no he is always uh, equal to everybody but his devotees he has got some special affection so i'll stop here thank you very much hari krishna